Welcome to the Baseball Show presented by Caesars Atlantic City. I'm Pete McCarthy from MLB.com. Interleague play continues for the Mets with a trip to Texas for a weekend series. So calling in to help us scout the Rangers is Jamie Newberg, writer of the Newberg Report. Jamie, thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, obviously the Rangers, the defending AL champions coming off a big season. Sometimes it feels a little different uh, that next year. What's the feel around the team right now? They are in first place in the West. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you know, obviously the expectations you know reach a new level after a season like Texas had, especially uh, with a franchise that had never gotten to that level in their history. Um, so uh, the expectations were high coming out of camp. The team got off to a little bit of a sluggish start, and frankly, over the first two months, uh, you can pretty much say in every phase uh, they were a little bit of a disappointment. The defense has been worse than last year. The bullpen has been a real problem. Rotation's been a little bit inconsistent. It's been okay, but there is no Cliff Lee like they ended the season with. There's not that true number one. And then with the offense, there have been a couple guys that have battled injury and a couple others that have been inconsistent. And despite all of that, the team has hung on to first place through through all this, uh, you know, through we're, we're nearing the end of the first half, and, and the team's been in first most of the time. So I think that the fan base, the vibe here is that um, they feel like if, uh, if this team starts picking up a little bit of rhythm and they've seen this past week to be doing that, They've got a real chance to start pulling away from the pack a little bit, particularly if they make a trade or two in July, as they typically do, and uh, could be headed for a second straight postseason. Now you mentioned injuries have been a problem for this team. They were without uh, two of their sluggers, Josh Hamilton and Nelson Cruz, for a period of time. Uh, specifically, Hamilton, how has he done since coming back from his injury? It, for a little bit, he seemed to be a little bit out of sync. Um, but over the last week or so, really coinciding with interleague play, which for some reason he's always been... Uh, just on fire every season when, when we get to that part of the schedule. Uh, right now he's, he's very much locked in. He's hitting the ball out of the park. Uh, he's, he's barreling up even when he's hitting into outs. And uh, he's, he's back at that point where he's a, a clear, the clear threat in the lineup and, and other teams are pitching around him and, and, and the, the lineup's making them pay when they do that. So Hamilton is really for the first time this year he seems to be in the groove that he was in most of 2010. So maybe not a good sign for the Mets, Josh Hamilton, uh, really heating up coming into this weekend. Uh, as far as the pitching goes, Matt Harrison will be uh, the Rangers starter tonight, and he's pitched better than his record, right? Absolutely. I mean, he's, I, I believe he's got a losing record. He may be 5-6, and six, something like that, but the ERA is good. And he's a guy that came out of camp as sort of maybe someone that seemed like he backed into a rotation spot because of injuries to some others because he had a fairly inconsistent 2010, but he's been pretty good. He's gone deep into games. He tends to have one bad inning every start. Um, mm -hmm. In the first couple starts of the year, he wasn't able to bounce. Well, actually, right out of the gate, he was strong, but then maybe the third or fourth time out, uh, he'd have a bad inning and not recover from it. But lately, he's been able to bounce back and, and give the team six or seven strong, even if he does have a rough go in you know, early innings at some point. Uh, I'd say, you know, if you were to draw up a playoff rotation right now, he probably doesn't fit in in the top three or four. Okay. Um, but he has a chance to because he's been fairly consistent most of the year. Then Alexia Gondo, we saw him in the postseason last year pitching out of the bullpen as a setup man for Neftali Feliz. He's now in the rotation. He'll go up against the Mets on Saturday. How has he uh, done in that transition? Well, I think a lot of people would say that right now Gondo's the MVP of this team. He, he you know, talking about a guy that, that backed into rotation spot, they didn't really even stretch him out in camp because he was probably considered the eighth or ninth option as a starter. They they felt more strongly about Neftali Feliz transitioning into the rotation than Ogando. But the way things worked out uh, with Tommy Hunter getting hurt late in camp, they decided that they wanted to keep Feliz in the bullpen and just gave Ogando the ball the first couple times out. They they figured they'd just get five innings out of him each time, and as the team got healthier, he'd move back to the bullpen. But he's been so good. Uh, ZRA is in the mid twos. Uh, he's another guy that goes deep into games every time out. He seems unflappable for a guy with as little experience as he's got. And right now, um, you know, he, he's at the past two starts have been a little shaky. But before that, people were talking about a likely all-star berth for a guy that's never been. A, you know, he's he's less than two years into the big leagues and wasn't a starter until till April. And, Jamie, you mentioned spring training. Feliz, as well as Agonda, were battling for rotation spot. Uh, Feliz ended up sticking in the bullpen, but he's had some struggles this year. He hasn't been as lights out as he was last year. What might be behind that? It's hard to say. It, you know, it really looks like that he's just lost a little bit of his edge. He, he, there was some bad body language where he lost a little confidence in, his, in, in, in command going along with that. Uh, the velocity was there. 
the, the breaking ball command was, was a little bit inconsistent, but that was true last year as well. The problem was he was elevating his fastball and not hitting his spots uh, in and out at the knees, which he did all of 2010. The last couple of weeks, he seems to have found it again, sort of like Hamilton. He's, uh, he looks like he's got the right look in his eye again. The, uh, he's hitting his spots. He's not walking as many guys. And even though the ERA has been good all year, there have been a lot of, lot of outings where he's gotten into trouble and then gotten himself out of it. But lately, he's, he's been avoiding even getting into trouble and, and retiring teams in fairly short order. Um, so I think that the Feliz that the, the Rangers fans were a little worried about that seems to be back, and, and, and the ninth inning doesn't seem to be a concern right now. All right, Jamie, great breakdown of the Rangers. Thanks so much for joining us. You bet, anytime. And be sure to come back to MetsBlog.com and SMY.TV for full coverage of all the games this weekend, including recaps and post-game reaction. Thanks for watching.